10 new races for a possible Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3. Oh, well, hello there, everyone. Thank you ever so much for clicking on this video. As I've just said, this is going to be my top 10 list of possible new races that could be added to a potential third Dragon Ball Xenoverse game. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3. So that said, let's get straight into this list. Number 10, Alien Slash Offworlder. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a bit of a cop-out entry. What I would have for this entry specifically is anything that you couldn't necessarily think would go into a different race or like a different category, just put it into a sort of alien race. For example, characters such as Topol's race and Janemba. Now, yes, I do know Janemba isn't necessarily like an alien, but it, more so a demon, but not really, kind of, who knows. But again, I would pour characters like that into this category right here. So if I really wanted to, I should be able to make a character that resembles final form Janemba, maybe with, I don't know, half of, like half Topo, half Janemba, just as a random example right there. This is one that you can just say, okay, well, if this other thing isn't in the game, it should be added into this category right here. Number nine, Android. Now, keep in mind, this is not an entry for bio Android, such as Cell, Cell Juniors, and I think it's Genome from Dragon Ball Super. This is Android as in Android 13, Android 18, 19, and characters like that if this does get added i wouldn't be too upset it kind of feels like a bit of a uh, entry in my opinion or a bit of an uh, option but whatever but if this does get added i think their race exclusive transformation or welcome we want to call it should be a super form you could go of either and like super 17 or what i'm thinking of something that resembles super android 13 and given how Xenoverse 1 and 2 have done stuff, for example, the margin purification form, I just have a feeling that the super form for Androids would just basically be a copy and paste of Super Android 13, but maybe with the skin and hair being a different colour depending on what options you've picked for those Two. Before we continue with this list, I do just want to remind you guys that if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. It only takes a second to do, and you can always unsubscribe later on if you so wish. That's all good. We just hit 400,000 subscribers, and I'd love to hit 500,000. That's half a million. That's insane before the end of the year, the end of 2021. So again, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. It takes a second to do. And if you are subscribed, leave a like on the video, please. And thank you ever so much. And just check to see if you still are subscribed. And that said, let's continue with the list. Number eight, Tuffle. Now, this is a bit of a tricky one because by Tuffle, you could mean, for example, Baby Vegeta or really Hatchyak. I'm not going to go to like the doctors and like the original Tuffle race where the saints took over because it's like i don't think that would necessarily work maybe i'm wrong do let me know in the comments there lads but for this one what i would go with is probably something that resembles hatchyak from the plant eradicate saints or super saints sort of special or movie or whatever it actually is what could the awoken be i'm not entirely sure you could maybe go for a gigantification form like a huge or like a giant form as hatchak does have that or did have that in certain media if i remember correctly but if this does get added i do think hatchak as an actual character as an actual playable character should be added first number seven Beerus' race. Oh yes, now we're getting into some of the rather good stuff. So by this, I really mean Beerus and Champa. Now, because it, they are gods of destruction, I would theme this around, well, Hakaishin energy, Hakai, god of destructions, what have you. So I'd make their Awoken maybe the god of destruction candidate form, like for example, what we see Topo use in Dragon Ball Super's Tournament of Power. 
You could have the body types, for example, normal, as in just Beerus, large, as in Champa. And as of right now, I don't think it's been confirmed as to whether or not Dispo from Universe 11 is part of their race or what have you. But for the sake of this video, let's just go out on a limb and say, yeah, they are all from the same race, the Beerus race, what have you. You could also make it so Dispo is like sort of like the slimmer body option type. Just otherwise, more variety and stuff like that. And again, I think the Awoken or their exclusive transformation should be something themed around God of Destruction or at the very least, sort of like Destruction Energy. Number six, Cerulean or however you pronounce Granola's race. As of right now, this is sort of that's still ongoing in the Dragon Ball Super manga. And I'm rather excited about this specific idea for their race exclusive awoken i would give them something along the name well along the lines of the name being something like strongest in the universe or universe strongest long story short in the manga granada gets the two dragon balls from is it planet cereal like the planet where the model what have you um and he makes the wish that dragon to become the strongest in the universe or the universe's greatest warrior something along those lines now this dragon specifically I don't know if it's for every wish or for just wishes like this. He'll grant it, but the, there is always like some sort of condition. In this case, Granola will get his wish, but he will only have three years to live. So I would have this play out in Zeniverse 2, where when you, once you use this form, you can't go back out of it, kind of like pure progress, but you get a gigantic attack increase, but you always have your health being drained. Think of Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10 for Goku, but like doubled, right? Something like that. Oh, and naturally, you should have the very long hair that Granola has once he gets the wish, because that would just look fantastic. <laughs> Number five, Demon. Now by Demon, I mean both just like a regular standard Demon, I guess, as well as the Demon Realm race. Characters such as Demigra, Deborah, Tewa, characters like that. Now, I think their exclusive Awoken should be Demon God. So I don't know how it would work. We could maybe just have it as like a standard earthling looking character that when they use the Demon God transformation, maybe they get like some sort of staff and or like the Demigra cape or outfit, something like that, like maybe a flash of lightning. I don't know, but man, this will be really cool if they did that. They could even make it more interesting by making this a race that you unlock later on in the story rather than it being something you can use straight off the bat. Maybe if, keyword if, or if Zinovus 3 even happens, but if it does and then there's like a branching story mode where you can have like a good or bad ending, maybe make it so that you only get the demon race unlocked for doing the maybe the bad ending or the time breaker ending or something like that or you could just maybe go with like a normal story and add the super dragon balls in and that's how you unlock one of or even all of these races who knows again do let me know in the comments number four jiren's race now in my opinion i think this one's fairly straightforward at least for the most part Right off the bat, their exclusive Awoken should be a full power form, like what we see Jiren use at the end of the Tournament of Power from Dragon Ball Super. I would think that this will be fairly straightforward to implement because they all look vaguely similar to each other and stuff like that. But I mean, this, this one's fairly short and straight to the point, in my opinion. Yeah, Jiren race, I think this will be something that will be more likely to be added than other things that we've spoken about on this list so far, such as, for example, the tougher race, and even maybe just a regular Android race. Number three, the Kai race, Kaioshins, whatever you want to call them. So I think there should be three possible routes you could go for a Kai exclusive Awoken, and naturally you should be able to unlock all of them through different means. Firstly, a sort of like neutral path, where maybe they have a sort of Z Sword Awoken, similar to the Pale Pole Pro, and the Ultimate Sword of Hope. Then a pure good route, where you have a form similar to Supreme Kai of Time's transformation from Super Dragon Ball Heroes, and a potentially pure evil form, which could resemble something like Merge Zomasu, or maybe the corrupt, grotesque form of Fusion Zomasu. 
I think this would be really, really, really good if they did all three of these, because then you could really mix and match what you want to do, have different stories or side missions or have you for each of these possible forms. If they were to do this, do let me know in the comments what your goal to Kai Awoken skill would be. Good, bad, or neutral. Number two, angels. Now, I'll be completely honest, out of all the entries on this list and what number one's going to be coming up in a moment, I'm fairly certain this is something that more than likely will never happen. So why have I put this on this list? Just a bit of fun, to be fair. And why is it number two? Don't know. Good question. Uh, <laughs> now, at least as of right now, their exclusive Awoken would have to be something to do with Ultra Instinct. But I don't think... Look, I think Ultra Instinct should be given to everyone. I think at some point it will. Maybe even at some point in Xenoverse 2. That's yet to be known. Maybe in Legendary Pack 2. Looks like Ultra Instinct Son Goku is probably going to win. So maybe stay tuned for more info, I guess. But... They could have something like maybe Mastered Ultra Instinct or Angel Ultra Instinct. Again, you can take your pick here. Or you could go to a route where they have just higher stats in general, but maybe they can't actually use any Awoken, even Kaioken or Potential Unleashed or anything like that. But again, the I guess like the substitute for a lack of Awoken for Angels will be that they just do higher damage or maybe they have more key and more stamina than anyone in the game. Maybe 15 bars of key. The max right now is 10 and maybe like 20 bars of stamina. I really have no idea at all. Again, in the comments, let me know. Number one, bio androids. For example, Cell and the Cell Juniors. I'm legitimately surprised that this wasn't even added in Xenoverse 1 and I've literally just remembered I think one of the first screenshots that they released was in verse one showing character creation or something to do with like later on. There's actually a character which turned out to be a freeze race character, but it was green. And given how far away it was in the screenshot, for a couple of weeks, I think at least, we actually was under the impression that maybe Bio Android was going to be a playable race. But the reason that I'm surprised that this isn't in the game, there's a few reasons. Firstly, Cell is one of the most popular characters in all all of Dragon Ball. And secondly, we have one of each major race that Goku fought against in Dragon Ball Z. We've got an Earthling. I mean, Earthlings are just like standard. You've got Saiyans, for example, Vegeta and Nappa. You've got the Freezer race, for example, Freezer. You've got Namekians for Piccolo and Demon King Piccolo earlier on. And you've got the Margin race, for example, all the different versions of Margin Buu that Goku had battled against. The only one, like, main villain character, whatever, that is in the game right now is Bio Android. Now, what could their Awoken be? Probably like a perfected form, maybe like their 100% final, super perfect form. Again, you can take your pick here, but based off what they've done in the past, I unfortunately, for the most part, at least, just can't imagine them doing like a like um, an imperfect form, then semi-perfect, then perfect, then super perfect. I just can't see them doing that unfortunately. And that's my list. Thank you guys ever so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.